Okay, so how bad do you get FOMO? I once got FOMO so bad, I started a brand new selling model on Amazon in order to keep up with the Amazon Joneses who were taking advantage of all these fabulous benefits that you get with the reseller model, like securing business class flights, uh, staying at amazing hotels, and literally living their best Amazon lives. But before we jump into that, I'm going to give you all the details of how we secured uh, four business class flights to Florida next year for a fraction of the price that anyone else pays. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the Beyond the Buy Box YouTube channel. This is where we talk all things selling on Amazon and e-commerce. My name's Natalie and we will try our best to always deliver you the best tips, tricks, hacks that it comes to selling on Amazon and some of the other platforms that between myself, Matthew and Johnny that we sell on. Uh, places like eBay and Shopify as well. So uh, before we jump in, if you wouldn't mind, it's uh, it's always transactional, I'm afraid. Hopefully you guys will like this video. If you do, please do give us a thumbs up and please make sure that you subscribe to the Beyond the Buy Box channel as well and hit that notification button whenever we release a new video or we go live or we have one of our chats with uh, an Amazon seller or a big e-commerce e seller in the group then you will get notified whenever something new goes live on the channels make sure you do that let's dive in how did we get these flights at such a great price Okay, before I dive into the details, you heard me say in the intro of the video, how bad do you get FOMO? So let me just quickly explain what I meant by that. S myself and my family tend to go to Florida either once a year, once every 18 months. So as you can imagine, flights to Florida from England um, are not the cheapest in the world and they've been gradually going up year on year. And when it comes to selling on Amazon, this is directly connected when it comes to sell on Amazon, which we've been doing so for a number of years. We'd actually pivoted three or four years ago into a model that no longer allowed us to take advantage of certain benefits when it comes to selling on Amazon, things like cash back and, you know, making purchases with benefit type payment cards, which is something that had obviously grown in popularity during that period of time and and people were really maximizing those benefits. So I was already getting FOMO about it. And then lo and behold, on our last Florida holiday, uh, we'd actually paid out for four premium seats. So premium economy, which is one up from economy to go to uh, Florida, which we'd always done. You know, we'd always generally traveled either premium economy uh, if we could, uh, you know, or business before we had kids. Once kids come along, you've got to start paying for them, uh, unfortunately. So we'd always try and maximize our personal experiences uh, as much as possible, but we were paying out physical cash for it. So we booked these flights and I think they were around £1,000 each, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, not sure. So somewhere between four and £5,000 that we physically paid out. When we arrived at the airport, they had an incredibly phenomenal offer on. The, the most cost-effective cost offer I've ever seen when uh, it comes to upgrading your flights, uh, they actually offered us an upgrade from premium to business class for just over £200 each. There's four of us. So it was around £800, something like that. So by this point, I mean, it was a fun, you know, anyone that regularly travels know that that's, you know, for an eight, nine hour flight, that's a really good deal. So we jumped on it and we took it, but it was still niggling me that I was paying out physical, you know, money, physical cash uh, in order to do this. So I spoke to my husband at the time and I said, look, I think we need to really find a way that we can maximize it because we're six, seven thousand pounds 
into paying out for these flights that we go on a regular basis. Uh, one of my business partners had just booked to go to the Maldives that was completely, um, you know, free. Uh, well, nothing's ever free, but, you know, they were maximizing their benefits. Uh, my other business partner had just booked a new year in New York that they'd hardly paid out a penny cash for. So it was really starting to bug me. So this video, by the way, spoiler alert, is not about the business model that I set up and doing. It's about you know, the benefits of utilizing that, i.e., you know, how we made such a big saving on these flights. Um, so if you want to find out more about the type of business models that we do, then jump into our Facebook group. We talk about it there or jump on our lives whenever uh, we go live Tuesday at one o'clock. Um, and, you know, we talk a little bit more about that. So this specifically is about, um, you know, the savings you can make from maximizing the benefits of selling on Amazon. So yeah, we jumped into it. We set it up. We made sure that we did on our due diligence. We made sure that we put everything in place in order. If we were going to start this new income stream that took advantage of these benefits, that we were maximizing it as much as possible. So one other thing, just before I go into these lovely Steven Spielberg, you know, style graphics you can see around you is uh, in the next slides, I am going to talk about uh, utilizing credit cards, payment cards, charge cards, but I just want to make it clear, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own due diligence and please make sure that you always check any company's terms and conditions and do not utilize these type of methods if you are not very good at paying back money. Okay, so as you can see here, um, these are the flights that we've booked. I've had to obscure some details, obviously, for personal confidentiality. But you can see here we've booked uh, return flights, Club World, which is one down from first. So it's still the lovely lay down beds and fancy blankets, fancy pillows, champagne on arrival, access to the airport lounges, which we get anyway already as part of what we do. But, you know, it, it's still free. So you basically get to avoid the masses, uh, essentially. So that's why we love going into the lounge and you don't have to pay for it. This is this is all included as well. Uh, there's four of us, again, obscured some uh, personal details there. And then there is just this comparison here. So it was kind of hard to to compare exactly without showing all the details, but you will just have to take my word for it. So these are as close uh, of flights that I could look at that would be fairly comparable to if I paid by cash. So, uh, you know, I could have gone on the British Airways site directly and looked on there and the flights would have been more expensive and the saving would have been even more impressive. But I always like to do what I do, which is I always book my flights on a site like Skyscanner or, or something like that where there's an, an additional saving. But, you know, I'm not going to be doing that anymore after uh, I can take advantage of all of my amazing points that we get with this selling model. So uh, you can see here is a direct comparison. This is in school holidays as well. So quite an expensive time of year to go uh, for the four of us for return flights for Club World would be the equivalent of just over eleven and a half thousand pounds. And as as you can see here, the total we paid, including taxes, so it was 1500 uh, or 1400 and something plus taxes. So the, the total that we paid was £1,800 for these four flights, including taxes. So that's all in. That's all in for four business class flights return from Florida. And as you can see here, it's around a £10,000 saving, which, you know, the FOMO has officially left the building. I am quite happy paying that cost for four business class flights. So let me show you how we did it, what we utilised, and I'll break that down a little bit more for you. Okay, so what was the first thing we did when we decided that we wanted to start this business model to maximize the benefits as much as possible. So the first thing we did, we signed up to a personal Amex British Airways Avios card. Now, we before anyone jumps on me saying, why are you utilizing a personal card 
for business. I am absolutely not. Church and state, keep them separate. Separate yourself from your business. It's the most important thing to do when set, setting up in your business. But what we did was we set up personal credit cards to maximize our personal spend. So we do not make any type of business purchases on these. This is for our personal spend. Things like going shopping at Tesco, so grocery, Sainsbury's, uh, just paying out for life. And life's expensive uh, at the moment. So we went through all of our bills and we made sure any that we could, we changed over to utilize paying for them on this credit card so we can accrue uh, these uh, points. But most importantly, we made sure that we sent uh, specifically um, signed up to this credit card because this credit card also gives something called companion vouchers. So lots of gurus and everything like that talk about uh, getting the points when it comes to selling on Amazon, but I don't hear a lot of people talking about companion vouchers. So we found out about the companion vouchers and we specifically went out of our way to make sure that we could maximize that as well, because there's four people in our family. So what a companion voucher is, it essentially means if I spend X amount of money on this card per year, I get a companion voucher. And a companion voucher means for any flight that I book and pay for, regardless of whether I use points or not, I can then get that flight again for free. Or I can utilize that allowance. Someone can travel with me for free. So I don't need to pay again for that person. I don't need to utilize points for that person. I can, they can essentially travel with them for free. There's four of us in our family. So, you know, we thought we'd better be fair and not just favor one child or, or, or leave the kids at home. So my husband also got a card as well. And we maximized our personal spend as much as possible. Now, I believe you get, um, a companion voucher for every 10,000 spent. But depending on when you watch this video, uh, you know, check on, check on the credit cards website, terms and conditions, just to make sure that it's still the case or they haven't moved the goalpost or anything. As of today, that was still the case that you needed to spend 10,000. I think there was some sort of bonus when you signed up that maybe you didn't need to spend 10,000 at the start, but I, I genuinely can't remember. So myself and my husband. So we just essentially made sure that we utilized this as much as possible. We maximized our spending. Essentially, if they didn't take Amex, we either didn't go there or, you know, we wanted to make sure everything that we were paying out for personally, we could maximize this as much as possible. So if we come down here, you can see here for the total cost of these four flights, uh, cost 360,000 Avias points. Now, if we did not have the two companion vouchers, which you can see here, we have two additional companion vouchers, then the Avias points would have been double and we would have paid the same. Or had we have not had the companion, vi uh, companion uh, points, then we could have used the same amount of points, but our monetary value just would have been more. It would have, you know, we would have paid out more money out of our pocket. So you always get a bit of a sliding scale when you do this sort of thing. So you can uh, use less points, pay more cash. But of course, I've already said, spent 10 minutes in, in this video talking about how we wanted to reduce our personal spend uh, as much as possible. And of course, the great thing as well is when we did actually pay out for this, we used this card. So we're maximizing the points again uh, at that point. You've always got to be in the cycle of maximizing your benefits as much as possible. So, you know, just bear in mind that this is something, whatever way you do it, when you go to book it, there will be lots of different options. You can utilize more points. You can maximize companion vouchers, which is exactly what we did. It kind of seemed like a little bit of a no brainer. So if it was just myself and Matt and we were going off somewhere, then we would only need one companion voucher. But of course, it was uh, myself, my husband and our two children. So essentially, we paid for or utilized points for two flights and got two uh, we got two flights for free.
So flights issued by British Airways, of course, if you're doing this type of thing, uh, British Airways always does seem to be the best value uh, when it comes to utilising those Avios points as well. But like I said, there are other cards that you can utilise the companion vouchers, including some of the business cards as well. This is just the route that we chose at this moment in time. It possibly is something we might change in the future if we get better value out of a different type of card. But as it stands at the moment, for us, it was the British Airways specific American Express cards that we worked out were going to be best in order to maximise not only the points on what we spend, but also the issue of the companion vouchers. Now, what I will say at this stage as well, just a, a, a another kind of disclaimer essentially, is make sure that you always check before you sign up for a credit card, charge card or anything like this whatsoever. Some of these cards do come with annual fees. Uh, I think this one was about £250 a year, something like that. But as you can see, you know, £10,000 saving, do the math, uh, it more than is worth it in order to get exposed to these type of benefits. So again, just to reiterate, with this card, it, we utilised it purely for personal spend only. So we didn't blur the lines between our business or, or our personal spend. This is for personal spend, personal expenses, that type of thing. And then I'll come on and show you what we utilised for our business spend. So the Avia Ava The other Avios collectors we used. So this is on the business side. So we utilized an Amex business gold card. So very similar to the British Airways one, uh, but we utilized this for our business spend. So any subscriptions, anything that we were paying out for from a business point of view that we could utilize and maximize the spend on this charge card as much as possible. We did. We changed uh, everything, any subscriptions, like I said, anything like that. And we found out and worked with people who we knew would take American Express. But American Express, because of their, their fees from a business service provider point of view. Not everybody takes Amex as well. So what we also did was we also signed up for a capital on tap card as well, which is a visa card. So wherever, you know, we cover all bases uh, in our business essentially. So wherever uh, an Amex was not going to be accepted, then we wanted to make sure that we had an alternative payment uh, solution that was going to maximize benefits as much as possible as well. So, you know, we're probably fine if I had to put a percent, uh, you know, percentage on it. I would say we probably utilize these cards 50 50, uh, essentially. But again, I feel like I'm giving lots of disclaimers here, uh, lots of warnings when it comes to these type of cards that you utilize for your business, especially capital on tap. You have to be able to pay it back. The charges are eye watering. So please, please, please use them responsibly. Um, if you are going to head, uh, if you are going to go ahead and utilize something like this, like we did, as I said, this video is for information purposes. I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own due diligence and, you know, use these, use these, uh, options responsibly and make sure you, you read what all the fees are as well, because something like capital and tap, if you cannot pay it back, they will they will get you in terms of of, of interest and it, it it's it's incredibly steep like i said very eye watering so as i said we are maximizing capital on tap we are also maximizing the amex so amex collect the avios points so we just convert them uh to avios so no extra is needed there with capital on tap the benefit is you accrue 1% cash back on your spend so instead of taking that as a physical payment, what we did was we converted all of our cash back to Avios points, which is one of the most cost effective ways uh, to be able to maximize these type of benefits on, on selling on Amazon. We essentially got more bang for our buck by converting them to Avios points than we did by taking it 
uh, cash. It's not always the case. It's when we've got something like this coming up to pay for that we want to maximize those benefits as much as possible. Uh, with Capital on Tap in particular, you can convert it to lots of other things. You can convert it to vouchers. But in this case, um, we wanted to pay out a lot less physical cash for our flight. So we wanted to maximize and convert them into as many Avios as we could. We also did the same with Top Cashback as well. Again, uh, something that we utilize massively as part of this new reselling model that we started. Something we were not getting this benefit at all before, uh, you know, because we're buying from wholesalers. Wholesalers do not accept Top Cashback or Amex or Capital and Tap in a lot of cases. Some do, but, you know, mainly not. So we were gathering all these new fantastic benefits that we could utilize to help maximize our personal lives uh, on Amazon. So instead of taking the top cashback as physical cash, we were able to convert the cashback that we were accruing again into Avios points. And again, there's lots of different options. Just go on to your top cashback, go on to your capital on tap, uh, go into your benefits section and you'll be able to see all the different types of things you can do. We had a specific goal in mind, which was to pay for these business class flights, um, utilize the Avios as much as possible and pay out the least amount of physical cash as possible. So we had a specific goal in mind. So it was a, like a little bit of a compounding effect. You know, it wasn't just one thing that did it. It was a combination of our personal spend uh, with companion vouchers, uh, converting our top cash back to Avios points, converting the cash back 1% spend that we would get back from our capital and tap to Avios points. And then, of course, the standard accrual with the BA personal card and also the American Express gold card. And we added all of that up uh, as as per the previous uh, screen, you can see it was a total to book those four business class flights of 360,000 Avios points plus two companion vouchers. And it only took us five months of selling on Amazon FBA. Well, this particular model reselling online arbitrage uh, to accrue those points. So £1,500 cash plus tax. I actually think it's a pretty good deal for four business class return flight, which essentially made us a £10,000 saving. Like I said, Natalie no longer has FOMO when it comes to booking flights or going on flights. Yes, you can't use Avios, uh, you know, for a flight from London to Paris or, well, you probably can if you can do it BA, some of the other destinations around Europe. So we maximise and are going to maximise these as much as possible in the future. We've already accrued, I think, this again. Um, so, uh, when it comes to booking our Florida flights for, uh, next year or the year after or wherever we're going to go, then this is something we can just keep rinse and repeating and doing time and time again. We may not necessarily utilize them all for, uh, flights. It might be hotels. Uh, one of the things I'd love to do in the next couple of years is take the kids to Dubai. So we are seeing what we will need to be able to do to essentially get a five star luxury trip uh, paid for by the benefits that it comes for selling on Amazon. So I wanted to just give you that insight into how we did it. It wasn't just one thing. It was a series of compounding things that we were able to do. But by making sure that we were able to maximize not only our personal spend, but also our business spend that allowed us to make this huge saving uh, for our family and allows, you know, uh, ourselves and kids to travel in style. We're looking forward to flying over to Florida business class. There's no doubt about it. So if you have found this video helpful, please do give us a thumbs up. And like I said at the start, subscribe to the channel. And whenever we get new videos, you will get that notification. So let me know in the comments, is this something that you do? Did you find it helpful? Hopefully you did. Plus, I'm also going to put as well some links into the, the information section 
that will, there are referral links for the cards that I've talked about for top cashback as well. It just essentially means it doesn't cost you guys any extra. If you sign up, you get something and then we also get something as well. But please make sure you do do it, especially for the Amex ones, because it means that you get X amount of points that get allocated to your account. And it gives you uh, a good head start on your Avios points balance. I hope you found the video helpful and I will see you soon. Happy spending, happy traveling.